Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing with a launch that's happening today. So I'm hoping to film, edit, and upload this video right before the launch. Wish me luck. So if you guys wanna see an eye look, some close-ups of the new Blend Bunny All Done Up collection, then just keep watching. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I love to focus on new makeup releases, especially eyeshadow palettes, and I like to do swatches, eye looks, and things like that. So if you love to see beauty videos about three to four times a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited. Blend Bunny started teasing this collection a few weeks ago and they showed four lip products. So I was like, oh, that's so cool. They're doing lip products. And so Maggie, the owner, sent me two shades of the lip products. So I'm gonna be throwing up swatches while I'm showing you guys this stuff, but I have two shades. So I have Tease and I have Doll Face. Both of these are so beautiful. I have not put them on my lips yet, but I did swatch them on my hands and the lip liners were so creamy. So I'm so excited to try these out. And then we have the next product, which is the cream gel liner. Again, I was not expecting a gel liner. I'm very excited to try this out. I used to wear a lot of cream gel liner back, back, back in the day when I didn't really know what like a pen liner was, but I'm so excited to try this out. And she also sent this brush. It's a really small liner brush. so. Can't wait to put that to the test. And then I think the biggest surprise of all, because I was not expecting an eyeshadow palette, we also have the all done up eyeshadow palette with 20 shades. This is a ultra glam palette. I love this packaging. The lips are raised and it's so beautiful. On the back here, it says it is a net weight of 24 grams or 0.85 ounces. 12 month shelf life, vegan, cruelty free, and it's made in China. So you guys are gonna be seeing all the swatches and things like that. So if you guys are not familiar with Blend Bunny, I'm guessing most of you are. This is very true to her aesthetic. So they always do like a gradient of the shades. And typically we do have some really nice metallics that correspond with the colors in the palette. So when I swatched it, I went this way, just so you guys could see all of the color stories. It's pretty much a no brainer palette. I think this is a very, very beautiful fall palette. I mean, I just see like fall leaves every time I look at this. So yeah, I'm very, very excited to put this on my eyes. I do have a like baby shower or like a sip and see or I don't know what to call it but I do have places to be after this so I'm gonna attempt to do something that matches my shirt. So let's go ahead and get into an eye look with this palette. Okay so I'm gonna start off with the shade Muse. Just gonna pick that up on this BK Beauty brush. And I'm gonna start off by putting that in the crease. I'm gonna try and keep that a little bit lower because I want to use the shade Unexpected to buff. So I'm just gonna build up Muse in the crease. Okay, so that is how that's looking. Now I'm gonna grab a Unearthly blending brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Unexpected and I wanna put that on the edge. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more of Muse and just deepen that up some more. Okay, next I wanna use the shade Shapely, which is like a dark, dark green. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. Ooh, I like that. It's like some really good depth. Okay, love that for me. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Smoking, which is the black. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of it on the outer corner. Okay, I really like how that's looking. Now we have to play with the metallics. I really wanna use the shade Shine on like the inner corner. And then we'll see what I decide if I wanna add any more of the shadows onto the lid. So I'm just gonna grab this What's Up Beauty brush, pick up the shade Shine. Of course, I wanna spray it because that's what I do with all my metallic shadows. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. Oh, yes. 
Oh my goodness gracious me. That is such a pretty shade of green. Okay, so maybe I won't put any other color on the lid because I went in with this gorgeous green like duochrome shade. It looks white in the pan. But then just like totally appropriate look for a 10 a.m. baby shower. No big deal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like this is such a expected look for me, but I can't even help myself. Like, look at those sparkles. Okay, I love that for me. Okay, so I want to do the lower lash line. I want to put a little bit of the gel liner in the lower lash line. So I'm just going to grab the brush that they sent with and let's just do it. This is very creamy. I'm trying to like not put on a ton because I don't want it to get all gunky in the waterline. So I'm just taking it slow. Okay, I might darken that up a little bit after I finish the lower lash line. So I feel like I'm just gonna mimic what I did on top. So just gonna grab a pencil brush. It's a Sigma E31. And I'm gonna start off with the shade Muse. And I'm just gonna tuck that to the lower lash line. Okay, next I'm gonna use a little bit of the shade Shapely. <laughs> And just blend that upwards so the eye look is cohesive. Okay, taking a little bit of smoking as well. Just a little bit. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it for the outer corner. Let's take a little bit of unexpected and just gonna add a little bit more and maybe a little bit down here. Oh, okay, sorry, I keep looking at my mirror. For inner corner, I kinda wanna do a little bit of the white. Ooh, I think we're done. I think we're done. Totally appropriate morning baby shower sip and see vibes right here. <laughs> Listen, don't invite Karen to a baby shower if you're not expecting her to show up in like full glam. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I have bronzer on. I need to throw on a blush and a highlighter. So I've been using my Odin's Eye stuff because there's an Odin's Eye launch coming in case you guys didn't pick up all the hints that they've been dropping on their Instagram story the last day or so. Um, so let's see here. Maybe I'll use this shade. It's called Rosite Love. And I'm just gonna grab this brush. Very pretty. And then for highlighter, I did grab my Noctilucent palette from Balloon Bunny. And I think I'm gonna use the shade Dreamlike. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and try out a lip color. Um, I think I'm gonna try Tease because it's like the more brown shade. I am a little bit nervous because it's pretty light, but she said the lip liners are designed to a uh, hair shades darker. So I think that should help make things okay. So I'm trying to get better at lip liner. I feel like I've mentioned that on my channel before. So it takes me a while, but I really like a creamy lip liner because it makes it easy to draw. I think we're okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Mm, it feels like nothing. Wow, yeah, it really feels like I have nothing on my lips. It's so comfortable. So I'm gonna give it some time to dry down and I'm gonna test out the gel liner because, you know, this look isn't dramatic enough <laughs> for me to show up at this baby shower. We definitely need to do some liner. So let's see if I can do a wing. I'm gonna try and keep it small because, you know, I'm going to like suburbia for this thing and this is definitely one of those gel liners 
I guess I'm not really digging because I don't, I'd rather like build it up than go in too opaque at once and then like really screw up. So I'm kind of trying it out first, but it's not very opaque in my opinion. Um, but it's also been a hot second since I used a black gel liner um, because I just prefer the control of a pen. But yeah, I have a teeny tiny wing. I'm sure you guys can see it. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye, throw on some mascara, and I'll be right back to give you guys my thoughts on this collection from Blood Money. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Now, as far as the rest of my face, I have Makeup Forever foundation on for concealer. I used the LYS concealer that's in my Shop My Stash. Bronzer is the ColourPop Super Shock Bronzer. And I think you guys saw everything else I used on my face today. So I'll try and link everything down below if you guys are interested. So let's go ahead and talk about this collection. Let's okay, let's start off with the gel liner. It's a perfectly nice gel liner. Is this something that everybody needs to go out and buy right now? I would say I definitely need to test it out some more. I wish it was a little bit more opaque, but that's just personal preference. I also prefer a felt tip liner because it's just easier for me to control than a brush. So I think it's like a preference thing. Overall, definitely not my favorite thing in the collection. Next, I'm so excited that they did lip products. These are so comfy. I can't wait to wear these more in videos and I really like the two shades I chose. This one's definitely more cool toned. So I hope in the future we see more warm tone nudes. And then the shade Dollface is a really pretty mauve shade. So I can't wait to try that out in a video. I just thought both the shades were very flattering and she did four shades total. So I feel like the brand kind of chose four very popular shades that were gonna work with as many skin tones as possible versus like trying to do really light shades. I think these are pretty mid-tone, so that works out perfectly for us. So now let's talk about my favorite thing in any collection. It's always the eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> and this is what the palette looks like again. I am wearing this on my eyes, obviously. I did grab my other Blend Bunny palettes to kind of show you guys comparisons. When I saw this color story, I first thought of the Dollhouse palette. This was one of my favorite palettes of 2021 and this is what it looks like and so let's see them like side by side if we see a lot of similarities i think it's like a similar vibe but each shade is still very much unique the coolest thing i feel like about blend bunny is that they must have had all of these color stories like mapped out. This is kind of their vibe. Like they do a light row, kind of a mid-tone, a deep row, and some metallic. So it's really, really cool to see how this color story has progressed now with their fourth palette. This is their last palette that they sent me. This is very different from the All Done Up palette. A much more vibrant launch. So yeah, I think... It definitely made me think of the dollhouse but it's almost like better because if you don't want a bigger palette then you can definitely go for the all done up palette and I like that you can do a very cohesive look with this I think you can jump around a lot this is gonna be really fun if you want to do some like Halloween type makeup I think there's a lot of options here as well with that gray row for like a very smoky skeleton a look if you're interested. But yeah, that's everything as far as the new Blend Bunny collection goes. Just so you guys know, I do have an affiliate code with Blend Bunny. It's just KH Makeup and you will save money on their site. So if you wanna use it today, you sure can. I always appreciate you guys using my codes. It helps me out and it helps me put back into my channel. So much, much appreciated. Of course, don't feel any pressure. To use my code just use somebody's code because it'll save you some money and that's everything you guys i hope you enjoyed this quick video thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed leave me a comment because i love chatting to you down there and i will see you for sure on monday for new makeup releases and don't forget to check out my odin's eye video whenever that's going up because that collection is set to be revealed today as well so thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon Bye!